U.S. Feds admits defeat a total flop to stop China. China wins? Hold on to your hats, folks, because the U.S. Federal Reserve just dropped a bombshell report and it's sending shockwaves across the globe. This isn't just another day in the world of finance. This is a game-changer, a wake-up call that has everyone from Wall Street to Main Street buzzing. This ain't no dry, boring financial document. This is an admission of defeat. The kind of admission that makes you sit up and take notice, that makes you question everything you thought you knew about global economics, America's grand plans to contain China's economic rise. Yeah, about that, they failed. Big time, we're talking about strategies that were supposed to keep the US on top now lying in tatters. The implications are massive, affecting not just the US and China, but the entire global economy. Please subscribe, like and share our videos. But the US Federal Reserve just released a bombshell report and now admits America's plan to stop China has completely failed. It's detailed in this report, geopolitical risk and decoupling, evidence from US export controls. I'll put a link to this report in the video description, but first, listen to the Fed actually admit that America's addiction to stopping China has now resulted in a complete loss for the United States. The U.S. has imposed export controls to deny China access to strategic technologies, but we find no evidence of reshoring or friendshoring. As a result of these disruptions, affected suppliers have negative abnormal stock returns, wiping out $130 billion in market capitalization and experience a drop in bank lending, profitability, and employment. Wow. I have to give credit to the Federal Reserve for being honest and publishing this incredible report. Imagine the global economy as a giant chessboard, with the US and China as the two grandmasters locked in an epic battle for supremacy. Each move is calculated, each strategy meticulously planned, and the stakes couldn't be higher. This isn't just a game, it's a high-stakes match that will determine the future of global power dynamics. For decades, America held the upper hand, dictating the rules of the game and calling the shots. The US economy was the envy of the world, a beacon of Asian and prosperity. Wall Street was the financial capital, and the Federal Reserve was the ultimate authority on monetary policy. But China, with its strategic brilliance and relentless drive, has been steadily outmaneuvering the US, making bold moves and turning the tables. From manufacturing to technology, China has been investing heavily in its future, positioning itself as a formidable competitor on the global stage. The US tried to contain China's rise through tariffs, trade wars and technological restrictions, hoping to cripple its economy and maintain its own dominance. These measures were intended to slow down China's rapid ascent and protect American interests. But like a skilled chess player, China anticipated these moves, adapting its strategy and finding creative ways to circumvent the obstacles. Chinese companies began to innovate at an unprecedented rate, developing new technologies and expanding their influence. Globally. The result? China's economy has continued to grow at an astonishing pace, while the U.S. has found itself increasingly isolated and outmaneuvered. Modern Chinese cities like Shanghai stand as testaments to this growth, while many American factories have shuttered, unable to compete. The Fed's report is essentially an acknowledgement of this reality, a white flag waved in the face of China's undeniable economic prowess. It's a recognition that the rules of the game have changed and the US must adapt to this new reality or risk falling further behind in this great financial chess match. Remember all those sanctions and trade restrictions imposed on China? The US government thought they had a foolproof plan to curb China's economic rise. Yeah, they didn't quite work out as planned. In fact, the results were far from what the US had hoped for. In fact, they might have even backfired. Instead of crippling China's economy, these measures forced China to become even more self-reliant and innovative. See, China, being the resourceful powerhouse it is, simply pivoted. They didn't just sit back and accept defeat. They strengthened ties with other nations, diversified their markets, and sought new trade partners across the globe and doubled down on innovation. Chinese companies invested heavily in research and development, pushing the boundaries of technology and industry. I think of it like this. Imagine trying to stop a river from flowing by building a dam. You might think you've got it under control. Sure, you might slow it down for a bit, creating a temporary barrier, but water always finds a way. It will seep through the smallest cracks, flow around the edges, or even overflow. It'll flow around, over, or even right through your obstacles. That's China. 
resilient, adaptable, and unstoppable. They turn challenges into opportunities. The US, stuck in its old ways, failed to anticipate China's agility. They underestimated China's ability to adapt and thrive under pressure. While the US was playing checkers, China was playing chess, thinking several moves ahead. They relied on outdated tactics. They thought their old strategies would still work in a rapidly changing world, assuming economic dominance was theirs to keep. Well, guess what? The global landscape has shifted dramatically. The world doesn't work like that anymore. Nations are more interconnected and interdependent than ever before. Change is the only constant, and those who fail to adapt are left behind. And right now, China is writing the rules. They're setting the pace for the future, and the rest of the world is taking notice. Okay, so the US made some miscalculations and China played its hand masterfully. But what does this all mean for us? The average Joes and Janes just trying to get by. Well, for starters, it means we're entering a new era, one where the US is no longer the undisputed economic superpower. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, mind you. A multipolar world where power is more evenly distributed could potentially lead to greater cooperation and stability. However, it also brings uncertainty and the potential for increased competition over resources and influence. The key takeaway here is that the global landscape is shifting and we need to adapt. Clinging to outdated notions of American exceptionalism won't cut it anymore. We need to face this new reality head-on with pragmatism and a willingness to engage. With China on a level playing field. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Does this mean China's rise is inevitable? Are they destined to become the world's sole superpower, calling all the shots? Well, it's not that simple. While China's economic prowess is undeniable, becoming a true global leader requires more than just money and market share. It demands soft power, diplomatic finesse, and the ability to build consensus on the world stage. And China is on the right track. China wants to gain the trust and respect of the international community. One thing's for sure, we're about to witness a fascinating dance between these two titans. China, emboldened by its economic success, will continue to assert itself on the world stage, pushing for greater influence and a more prominent role in shaping global affairs. The US, meanwhile, finds itself at a crossroads. It can either cling to its fading dominance, risking further isolation and conflict, or it can adapt to this new reality, embracing cooperation and finding common ground with China. Ultimately, the future of the world depends on the choices both nations make. Will they engage in a zero-sum game of dominance and control, or will they find a way to coexist and cooperate for the greater good? The stakes couldn't be higher. Now, some of you might be thinking, is this the end of the road for America? Is the American century officially over? Hold your horses, doomsday preppers. It's not time to start building bunkers just yet. America still possesses immense strengths, a spirit of innovation, a powerful military, and a resilient democracy. The key is to learn from past mistakes, adapt to the changing global landscape, and focus on strengthening those core strengths. That means investing in education, promoting innovation, and rebuilding trust with allies. America's best days don't have to be behind it but it's time to stop resting on past laurels and wake up to the reality of a multipolar world. The future belongs to those who are willing to adapt and evolve, not those clinging to a fading past. So there you have it, folks. The US Federal Reserve's report is a wake-up call, a stark reminder that the world is changing and we better keep up. We've explored the implications of America's failed strategy, China's meteoric rise, and the uncertain future that lies ahead. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. What do you think about China's growing influence? Is America's reign as a superpower coming to an end? How can both nations navigate this new world order? Head down to the comments section and let's have a real talk. Share your thoughts, insights, and maybe even some wild predictions. After all, the future is a collaborative effort and we need all hands on deck to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Here at Revenar, we believe in the power of open dialogue and critical thinking. We're not here to tell you what to think. We're here to empower you to think for yourselves. So don't be shy. Let your voice be heard. Engage with other views. Challenge assumptions and let's build a community of informed, engaged citizens ready to tackle the complexities of the 21st century. Remember, the revolution starts with a conversation. Let's make ours a productive one. 
That's all the time we have for today, folks. But don't worry, this is just the beginning. We've got a whole lot more Revenal content coming your way, packed with insightful analysis, thought-provoking discussions, and maybe even a few laughs along the way. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and join the revolution. Together, we can make sense of the chaos and navigate the uncharted waters of the future. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay revolutionary. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.